Hey everyone, today we are going to cover one of the most common myths about United States income taxes. We all have that uncle or that crazy coworker who thinks they're so smart and tells us they, they refused a promotion because they figured out that that promotion would put them into a higher tax bracket and it would cost them more money in the long run. Likewise, maybe they've said they've refused a bonus or they've been pissed off about a bonus because getting that extra money pushes them up into a higher tax bracket and will cost them more in taxes. What we're going to find out today is that this is actually a myth and that you never actually lose money by being pushed into a higher tax bracket. So here's how it works. Imagine here we have a graph showing the total income a person earns throughout the course of a year. And this bottom arrow represents the course of the year going on from January on through to, to December. Now let's say this person has a salary of $3,000 a month or $36,000 a year. This is their gross income and we could represent this showing the cumulative money they earn over the course of the year as this arrow. In January they earn $3,000, by March they earn $12,000, and on to December they earn $36,000 in the year. Now let's look how this matches with the 2018 tax brackets. So the first tax bracket is the 10% tax bracket which goes up to $9,525 a year. The next tax bracket is the 12% tax bracket, which goes up to $38,700 a year. And after that, the next bracket jumps from 12% up to 22%. So this is a pretty significant jump. So imagine this person who earns $36,000 a year. These are the guys that will tell you, I don't want to earn $40,000 a year because that would bump me up into the 22% tax bracket. And I don't want to go from paying 12% to paying 22% taxes. And that's the mistake, as we'll find out here in a minute. So what this person that we all know and love is saying is they don't want to raise because if they made $40,000 a year, it would look like this. Here, the line ends at the very end of the year up around $40,000, which is above the 22% tax bracket threshold of $38,700. So what they're saying is they would rather be in this place because it puts them in 12% instead of this place at 22%. And this is an example of someone who got a promotion and is earning this new rate starting at the very beginning of the year. We also can use an example of someone who gets a bonus in the middle of the year. Here they are earning $36,000 a year, but in this case, they earn a bonus, maybe in April when their year end review comes in, of $4,000. So now that came all at once, and now that puts them on a trajectory instead of earning $36,000 to earn $40,000. Again, they'd be in the 22% tax bracket. For some reason, it's funny. You never hear people say, why don't I just take unpaid leave the last two weeks of December? Wouldn't that solve the same problem? Imagine it comes to December 10th and you say, oh, I've almost earned 38,700. I better stop working so I don't get up into the 22% tax bracket. It's funny that no one ever says that. Interestingly enough, this is all a myth because it forgets to take into account the fact that in the United States, our income tax brackets are marginal. Here's what that means. If you earn $39,000 in a year, only the money you make above the tax bracket threshold is taxed at that rate. So only the $300 I make above $38,700 are taxed at 22%. All of the money I make in this tax bracket is only taxed at 12%. And the first $9,525 I make are only taxed at 10%. So let's look at what that looks like. If I make $39,000 a year, the first $9,525 is taxed at 10%. So I would pay $952.50 taxes on that money. The next $29,175, which is the amount between this tax bracket and that tax bracket, is taxed at 12%. If you do that multiplication, you owe $3,501 in taxes on this money. You're only taxed 22% on the 300 bucks, the difference between 38,700 and how much you actually made. That $300 you made above the tax bracket is the only money that's taxed at 22%, which comes out to just 66 measly dollars. You'd be surprised. I think less than half of Americans know that our tax system is a marginal system. You always hear about what tax bracket are you in? That doesn't say anything about how all of your money is taxed. That just tells you about your marginal income. The next dollar you earn is taxed at that highest income rate. And just to throw your uncle or your crazy coworker who thinks they're so smart for another loop, 
they probably are not only wrong in that they forgot the marginal tax bracket, they usually forget about the standard deduction as well. What's the standard deduction? Let's look at this graph again. Now I've shifted it because the tax brackets are not tax brackets on your gross income. These are tax brackets on your taxable income. And what most people don't realize is we have some income that's not even taxable. So I'm gonna shift this line down to represent the hidden 0% tax bracket. That's right, as of 2018, everybody gets a $12,000 standard deduction. And you might, not even have, you might even have other deductions if you itemize your deductions or have certain student loan interest deductions and things like that. So in fact, the first $12,000 you make isn't even taxed at all. And only the 9,525 on top of the 12,000 is taxed at 10%. Then the next chunk up to 38,700 taxable on top of the 12,000 is taxed at 12%. So this crazy person that you know probably wasn't even right about being near the tax bracket threshold because more often than not, they forget about the standard deduction. So I hope this video was helpful in disproving the myth that earning just enough to get into the next tax bracket is for some reason a bad thing. When in fact, when that happens, only that little bit of money you make above the threshold is taxed at that new higher rate. If you thought this video was helpful, check out some of my other videos on tax and personal finance topics.